Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode, episode 10 of Diaspora Connect. I have with me Baba Tunda. Am I saying that right? Baba Tunde. Tunde. I better get it right. That's pretty close. Uh, but before we get into the meat, and I just want to say what an awesome night. This is Nigeria night, everybody. Uh, we just had awesome, awesome food. Awesome. Oh Shout my out gosh. To the Shout out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Such amazing food. And then Chef we Lydia. have in the house um, this awesome band. Um, I'm gonna take a two. What it might Ancient be the name? Robot. Ancient yeah. Robots. You, you know what I mean. Ancient Robots. Uh, we just had an amazing time, and uh, but we're gonna talk a little bit, get to know you a little bit, Baba. Uh, tell us about um, where you're from. Absolutely. Well, thank you. It's been an honor to be here with you all tonight. Uh, I am actually from Lagos, Nigeria. Nice. Uh, it's uh, the best city in the world. I Is would call it? it okay. Uh, okay. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've been. Um, I uh, immigrated from Lagos about 12 years ago. Now okay. straight into Seattle. Okay. Uh, came mainly for schooling. Okay. And after school, I went to UW actually. Okay. After school, I fell in love uh, and uh, loved my. I, to who? Yes, shout out. My lovely, <laughs> lovely wife here, and then uh, eventually just decided to settle here in Seattle. Awesome. And, um, very cool. I love this. And, and what, did, what did you study at UW? Uh, I did environmental science. Okay, very yes. cool. Very cool. Um, so, the, one of the reasons that we have this uh, podcast is we like to demystify the myth of, you know, when we're in Africa, we think America is this great, grand place. Um, and it is, and it totally is because of the opportunities that we have. Exactly. But what is, what has your experience been? What do you think um, are the myths that Africans have when we're in Africa versus when we come and we immigrate to America? I'm glad you brought that question up. Uh, I think um, most friends that I know back in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I mean, when they call when I'm here, right. they always think, I mean, mostly everything you get, it's actually super easy. Yeah. Uh, and telling them like no you need to really walk and bust your uh, ass off every time they're like no no way this is America right you can just get everything you want any right. time right? right so yeah I mean it's just trying to convince them and say yeah even though the opportunities do lie you still need to go out there and go grab that because it's not gonna be given to you the pot of gold okay um, so my experience has been the same as well too I mean I study uh, work from school I did a few hot jobs here and there and stuff like that just okay. to make ends meet right. and stuff. And uh, again, I mean, I'm glad I'm where I am today. Right. Uh, but it's more about being steadfast and just being uh, being able to, to look at opportunities and be able to embrace them. Embrace so, opportunities. Very yeah. cool. Um, so tell us a little bit about your family life. Obviously, you're married and your wife is here in the audience. Shout Absolutely. out to Catherine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but tell us a little bit about your family life. Absolutely. So my family life, obviously, my wife is from the Philippines. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we met here, and I have two lovely kids. Kids, uh, okay. Got a five-year-old daughter and a nine-year-old boy nice. as well. Very cool. And uh, I mean, it's been an amazing time with the two of them. Obviously, after work, spent lots of time coaching and uh, hanging out with my kids. Very cool. I've been supportive at the best. Awesome. Yeah. And how did you find out about this awesome of all nights? Well, I did hear about this, uh, I believe, last year. Last year, uh, okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. So this year, I just got back from Nigeria two nights ago. Uh, so a little bit jet lag, and around <laughs> 3 a.m., I was just scrolling through Instagram. Okay. So Lillian had posted this. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be there oh, tonight, wow. right? Wow. So okay. I was scrambling at the middle nice. of the night, trying to tap my wife. I'm like, where's my credit card? At? <laughs> I gotta buy them. She's today. like, I'm sleeping. I was like, no, it's you should be awake. Right. I'm awake. So yeah, I was able to get my because there's a counter on the Instagram. I think there's a 10 minute countdown yes. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, no, I gotta get this last seat because nice. I know there was time sensitive and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, thanks to Lenin uh, for for putting that up and. Uh, unfortunately, I wanted to bring in more folks tonight, but I understand it's only 20 folks. So. Hopefully next one you guys can make him up bigger because I got a lot of crew out there. That oh, would, would well, like look to, at that. All here, right. So. Very cool. And uh, of course, we are having a Avol Nights every Friday here at Cafe Avol. Shout out to Solomon Doobie and the host, who is our host tonight, um, alongside with uh, Mr. Simon Okello as well. We also have Kenju, my co-host tonight. So cool. And Miguel is doing our uh, podcast recording. So shout out to him as well. Thank you to the band. Thank you, Baba 
Babatunde. Babatunde. I will get this yes. right yes. Uh, by the end of the night. But uh, thank you so much. Before we um, head back to the band situation, I would love for you to maybe just take a minute and give advice to anybody that's looking to maybe relocate here um, somewhere in America. Absolutely. Um, what is their mindset? What, what should they be thinking about? Um, when they're, you know, making that decision, um, maybe, maybe what the mindset of being in Africa and then the mindset that you kind of sort of need to have when you're establishing yourself. Absolutely. I think the, the best advice I can give anyone out there is just all about perseverance. Uh, when you get here, it's never going to be easy. Right. Uh, so don't sugarcoat that. Uh, you just got to be uh, perseverant and also just be steadfast. Uh, routine is really critical. Mm. Uh, also, just uh, talk to people. Uh, make sure you hang out with the right folks as well too right. and you can learn, find a mentor as well too, people that have made those mistakes so you can learn from them so right. you don't have to um, jump into those uh, pitfall as well too. So again, I mean, find a great group and be prayerful. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Let's keep going. All right, so one more question. Yes. <laughs> um, what do you do for a living? What are you uh, yes, yeah, so a great question. I'm a man of many things. Okay. Uh, I do uh, lots of environmental consulting, okay. but primarily, uh, as Linian has talked about as well, too, I think my passion lies uh, beyond just what I went to school to study. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily, what I do right now is I sell real estate oh, real here estate. in Seattle. Very yeah. cool. So uh, I help a lot of African brothers and sisters, uh, pretty much any customers out there as okay. well, too, to actually um, invest in real estate properties nice. from small scale to a bigger industrial uh, real estate as well too. Very cool. And um, if you're interested to buy your nest dome, I mean, Seattle is the best place to be. Uh, you can maximize uh, on the great, great uh, opportunities around here. Interest rates are super low right now. And uh, you can call me, uh, phone number 206-331. 8142, I'm also on Instagram. You All right. can, uh, Check me out, Baba Homes, uh, B-A-B-A -A Homes. Uh, and also, you can go on my website as well, too, babahomes.com. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, Baba Cool, for uh, joining us. Absolutely. It's an awesome. honor. Cool. Thank you. Good. All right. <laughs>